And John Lee, in his discussion of the breath, sometimes talks about a cool breath, sometimes a warm breath, sometimes a hot breath. So today is a day for looking for a cool breath. What kind of breathing is cool? What kind of breathing feels refreshing? Try to look for it. It's there. These potentials exist in the body. It's just that all too often we're not sensitive to them. And John Fun has a nice analogy. He says it's like the radio waves going through the room right now. If your hand were sensitive to them, it could pick up here in the midst of nothing, silence, space, air, all kinds of noises, all kinds of singing, all kinds of talking. That's because the hand is not sensitive. It can't pick them up. We need a radio receiver that's calibrated to pick those things up. The same way, if we're not sensitive to the different levels of energy, the different types of energy in the body, we don't get the most out of them. It's as if they're not there. But if we're sensitive, you realize okay, there are lots of potentials right here. It's the same with the mind. The mind has potentials for greed, aversion, and delusion. It also has potentials for goodwill, discernment, mindfulness. It's simply a matter of ferreting them out and developing them. Keeping in mind the fact that whatever suffering is weighing down the mind is all optional. It's all unnecessary. There are a lot of unpleasant things in the world. There's fires going on. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in politics and economics. But that stuff doesn't have to weigh the mind down. You can live with it, you can know it, but you cannot be weighed down by it. That's the important thing. It's not like you're going to run away from it and just be ignorant of it. You know these things are there, but you learn how to be with them and not suffer. Because that ability to be with things and not suffer is going to be very important as the body itself begins to break down. And your handhold on the world, i.e. the body, is going to start falling apart. That's when you have to look for the potentials in the mind that are going to help you rather than the ones that drag you down. Because it's your attachment, it's your clinging, it's your craving, your ignorance. That drags you down. Your mindfulness, alertness, your ardency, that's going to make sure you don't fall. The potentials for both are there. It's simply a question of which ones you're going to focus on. And then maintain your focus. Don't let it get distracted. This is what anupasana means. You keep track of something and don't let your cross currents pull you off in another direction. You stay with the one thing, one thread you're trying to follow all the way through. So look for good potentials in the body, look for good potentials in the mind. They're there. And if you're sensitive to them, you can make the most of them and see that what the Buddha said is true. The suffering is optional. Pain may be there, discomfort may be there, but the suffering doesn't have to be there. That's the Buddha's good news. <laughs>